Hey, this is Ryan from Web Eminence, and in this video, I'm gonna show you the art of domain sleuthing, as I call it. So a lot of clients or prospects contact me, they have a website or a domain name, but they don't know where the domain is registered, they don't know where their email is hosted, they don't know who has access to the hosting account. So it turns out to be a big mess, but I can actually look up, and anybody could look up the public information on a domain and get some quick answers as to who the domain registrar is, who the registrant is, who owns the domain name. I could figure out um, where the email is hosted and where the website is hosted. So that's gonna answer a lot of questions for someone who's maybe a little bit lost in finding and getting control of their, their domain, website, and email. So I'm gonna show you a few quick tricks on how I do that. So the way you get this public information on a domain is through DNS or the domain name system. You can get this public info through a lot of different websites, but I actually use leafdns.com. Uh, it's just the one I've been using. There's no specific reason I use it, but most of them are the same. Um, I'm actually gonna use this website as an example. I've already put it in and this is all the public info, the DNS info for that domain. The reason I'm using it is because I had a phone call from a prospect yesterday who owns this domain. He was a little confused where his website was hosted and where the domain was. So I just quick typed it in and here's some of the info and here's kind of like my thought process to figure out what's going on with a domain. So first of all, you have the name servers in this case, the parent name servers are listed right here. Usually says NS and then a number and then a domain. I know this domain is uh, Network Solutions domain. So Network Solutions is a popular uh, registrar. Um, and so you might have registered your domain there and you're hosting, managing your domain there. If you see something here in the domain for the name server and you don't know who that is, you can actually do a who is search on it. So to do that, I would just copy the domain and just type in who is into a Google search and then paste that domain. And if I type that in, you see right away, I see network solutions. Or if I click this first link for who is, you know, it says network solution. So that's just a way to figure out who the domain registrar is. Another way to do that is to do a who is search on the domain itself. So this domain is fpc.claims. So I did a who is search on that domain, tells me the registrar is network solution. So basically now we know this domain is managed or it was registered at networksolutions.com. Doesn't mean we can access it because you would need the account login to log in and manage this domain name. So that's the first thing is figuring out who the registrar is. If I scroll down here, the next info I'm looking at is MX test. And MX has to do with the email routing. So if I look through here, there's some IP addresses. And then you notice there is uh, th there are these that say outlook.com. So this tells me that this email is routed on this domain to uh, Microsoft email, probably Office 365, which can be purchased from Microsoft. It can be purchased from GoDaddy. But um, yeah, this guy is using Office 365 for his email. So, so far we know the domain is registered at Network Solutions and the um, DNS is hosted there because the name servers are there and the email is pointed to outlook.com or some type of Microsoft email accounts. Uh, at the bottom of this info is www tests. This tells us where the website is pointed. So if you look in here, there's actually two domains for wixdns.net and uh, that is actually for wix.com. So wix.com is a website builder that I've reviewed uh, it's a popular website builder where you can host and uh, you know build your website using their do-it-yourself website builder. So this guy's website at fpcclaims.com was built and is hosted at uh, wix.com. At wix.com. So here's the website. It was built on wix.com. And again, the reason I know that is because it says wixdns.net. If it comes up with something like an IP address and you don't know what it is or you don't know what one of these values represents, again, you could go to a Google search 
and just put who is and then paste in that IP address or domain that you don't know. So to summarize for this domain, it is um, registered at Network Solutions. The email is pointed to Office 365 and the website is um, hosted and pointed to Wix. Um, so the website was built on Wix. So in order to manage the website, you'd have to have access to that Wix account and log in there. If I just do a quick search on another domain, I'll actually use my domain as an example. The DNS is actually going through Cloudflare, which is a CDN, I won't get into the details there. But here's what it looks like when um, a domain has email hosted on Google. You see there's a google.com. That means uh, I'm using G Suite in this case. And then my website is running through this IP address. So this is probably another Cloudflare IP address. Let's just do a quick search to see what comes up on that IP address. So yeah, this is a Cloudflare IP address. So if you were hosting your site at GoDaddy, uh, GoDaddy or HostGator, some other host, if you were to do a who is on the IP address down here in the www tests, you'll probably figure out where the website is hosted so you can gain access to the website files and edit the website itself. So if you want to dive a little bit deeper into the domain name part of it, if you're trying to just recover a domain name, I'll link to this other video I did on domain name recovery where I go into more detail on the domain itself and uh, some of it's similar to this video, but I go into some more details on recovering your domain name. If all of this scares you or the fact that all this info is public, um, check out my video on domain name privacy as that is a way of hiding some of this information, this ownership information, so people cannot see all of this info. So check out that video, uh, both of those videos, and we'll see you there.